Uh, so yeah. hopefully that weather forecast will cooperate. It was a bit breezy today. Uh, some of those leaves were starting to fall off. I know. Yeah, it's a sign of a changing times for uh, our region. Let's take you to uh, the upper level pattern right now because so we do have an, our next trough of low pressure that's digging across the Gulf of Alaska right now. Look at how deep that's going to dig across northern California. That will start to swing cooler temperatures across our area by the weekend. Until then, we will remain under partly to mostly sunny skies along and east of I-25 and uh, have some above average temperatures because our winds of source are increasing uh, out of the south as we move through the end of the week and so that will warm us up just a bit along with that high pressure uh, that is still kind of in control just off towards uh, our east in the central plains. So Wednesday, a lot of sun and warm temperatures. Uh, that little area of low pressure will start to move into our region by closer to Friday and Saturday. So we are going to feel those winds start to kick up the latter half of the week, which could warrant some areas of critical fire danger. So we'll have to watch that, uh, especially here along the front range in the eastern plains. You can see it is yielding a long line of showers across the coastal rain of Oregon. Uh, we are looking mainly at just some showers and thunderstorms from a secondary disturbance pushing across the desert southwest right now, and that batch of moisture will move into the high country overnight tonight, most notably across places like the San Juans and gild a little bit of light to moderate snow, so it won't be anything of consequence here. Right now, we're just getting some clouds increasing across parts of Durango and Grand Junction along the western slope. Future snowfall here shows a nice little fresh blanket of two to four inches for elevations above 10,000 feet around Telluride and Silverton and very light uh, traced close to an inch around places like Crested Butte uh, and even just some spotty snow showers up into parts of Vail and even Breckenridge. So this evening we remain mostly dry along and east of I-25, but notice how those rain showers start to push in south to north orientation around Cortez and Durango and then starting to give way to some snow showers really between about 2 and 4 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. A lot of that will be pushing up towards parts of County as we move through the afternoon time frame or morning into early afternoon time frame uh, across the central and northern mountains. Meanwhile, we'll have those partly to mostly sunny skies here across southern Colorado and areas into the eastern plains. Uh, of course, clouds will start to increase closer to the afternoon time frame across Pueblo County and El Paso County, and a spotty shower too will be likely across parts of Cheyenne Mountain between about 4 and 7 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, a couple of those storms will remain fairly isolated. I uh, typically this time of year we start to see those winds increasing and that usually is a concern as fuels start to really dry out, meaning brush and new vegetation that we had from the previous spring. So the fire danger is something we have to be particularly cognizant about later this week. I think tomorrow we're probably going to be just below that threshold. Temperatures in the 60s in Westcliff, 82 in Pueblo and uh, into the 80s there along and south of Highway 50 tomorrow. So still above average and then we just really rinse and repeat that forecast for lower terrain areas on Thursday with those 70s and 80s. Here's where the changes are going to come into play. Late Saturday night into Sunday morning, another front slides across the region. That will be that trough of low pressure that we were just talking about this over western sections of the country right now. Uh, that will bring those rain showers to our region and certainly bring us cooler temperatures behind that system by Sunday. So that will mean 40s and 50s for Sunday. Typically when our percentages are less than 50%, we really don't put the rain icon on because that means the coverage area, most of it's going to be dry. Uh, but we want to make sure we kind of note that the percentage here does include uh, a 30% chance of that coverage area uh, getting a few rain showers and some measurable precipitation. Typically, if those percentages are over 50%, you have those rain and snow icons in full swing, but it's just a note. Don't be surprised if you have a little spotty shower or two, but most locations are going to stay dry. So we'll talk a bit more about a uh, percentage of precipitation, which is called pops and why those things are important. Typically 10% we try not to put on there because, you know, 10%. Okay, who's going to know? Maybe four, five people that had just, uh, you know, a few light sprinkles in the region and that was about it. Uh, but we'll talk a bit more about that coming up at five o'clock. Otherwise, those crisp temperatures will not return until late weekend. Back to you guys. Fantastic conditions in the meantime. Mary, thanks. Here is another reminder that now's the time to send in.